Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and if you haven't seen the other Christmas baking then what's the other so today I'm going to be showing you how to make the chocolate Christmas cake now if you haven't got the ingredients for this pause the video and go and get what you need first thing in the jar you're going to have two tablespoons of lemon juice and the other one is 220 millilitres of milk so give this a, a mix in the jug and then put this to a side next bit is to mix in 165 grams of store butter and 330 grams of castor sugar Now you're going to mix this with the electric hand whisk until light and fluffy. You beat this together. Next thing that we're going to do is add in three eggs one at a time and beating this really well until after the addition. Next we're going to fold in the in dry ingredients so 
if you're folding in these ingredients, it, it's better off doing it with the spoon. We've got 70 grams of cocoa powder, a teaspoon of bicarbonate, as well as that, 260 grams of plain flour. Just going to sift it as well as the ingredients that have been whisked together. You may have noticed there's lumps of cocoa powder in there. So if you noticed it as well, give you a great scrape throw in the sieve. Because we don't want getting any lumps of cocoa powder inside the cake batter. Now that dry ingredients has been saved, you're just going to mix all of this until it forms like a liquid batter. And it's going to be stirred until it's smooth. You can watch me do the mix the cake batter if you wish and this is a Christmas cake tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to make these recipes Lastly, to add to this mixture is the milk mixture that we done earlier. So add that and until it is smooth. Stir this until it is smooth and has a liquidy texture cake mixture. Once we got to this cake level stage, then I'm showing you what to do next. What I'm just going to do is put the mixture into the prepared cake tins. Those are the Cakes are being prepared into the prepared tins. And I've just got one more to do. You'll place this mix, mixture into three separate tins. And the size is 8 inches. Now you're going to prepare 
by these guys for in the other mat one I say for twenty minutes until it is done. So put a video now then I'm gonna show you what to do next with the icing and with the raspberry jam and decorations. Guys have been cold and I've that they've been done baking in the oven so now we're gonna start with the ganache frosting. We're gonna start adding 350 grams of dark chocolate. Fifty grams of butter and two hundred and seventy five milliliters of double cream we just want to make some ganache from these ingredients in order to prepare this ganache filling we have to melt all these together to form into a smooth ganache frosting As it may say, or oh, hey, yeah, that the water is starting to simmer from the pan and it's beginning to melt anything like butter. So let that simmer until it is melted everything like a ganache mixture. The the simmering water is heated the chocolate now and the chocolate is melted so there's a butter you might see the chocolate already from the melted one so you can get this a stir until all of the chocolate pieces is melted now the mixture is turned into a ganache, so turn the oven off if this turns into a ganache like this. Once you've turned the heat off, you're just going to take the, this off the heat. And put it on the table. Wrap it up with clean film. Just wrap it up with clean film like this. Once you've done this, you can let this ganache can cool down until it has a until it's thick. Then pause the video and I'm gonna show you what to do next when the ganache has cooled and thickened. Now I've got you how to make a ganache and now it's cooled and has been thickened up. Now we, we have to do is to set a base layer and this is going to be a cake board. First things first. You, I have to sandwich a layer between each of the cake pieces.
first thing, we're going to sandwich the cakes together with the ganache and the raspberry jam. When you finish the spreading the chocolate ganache, gonna put some jam on top of the chocolate ganache. Now just repeat the same pattern as the other cakes. Just put it on the top of the cake. Now using the panic knife. Just use the Palette Nighter Cut the Cake and the sides. Once you've spread it, the ganache over it, there's one final thing to have Christmas decorations, which I don't have. I've got Christmas sprinkles. Yeah, if you have Christmas sprinkles or Christmas decorations, then you can go ahead and decorate some on. And this is a Christmas and festive recipe. This is a cake that has been decorated and been made with chocolate in it. So why not give this recipe a go for Christmas? So if you like this recipe, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss anything. And also comment on what recipe you want me to do next. Bye. See you at the next video.